What is up guys, it is Happy here, and I'm about to play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Um, let's just get into this thing. This game is only a fiction. Mind the road now. There are dogs on the loose around here. We're out here awfully late. True, but I'd say the meeting was worth it. With all the homeless around these days, there's no shortage of mouths to feed. And tonight marks a big step forward in solving that. I suppose you're right. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. <laughs> What happened? Someone's out there. Boom! Ah! No! Ah! Wow, emptying the gun. It's intense. Three flames. Are we finished? Hmm. Got hot dogs over there. You can go have some hot dogs. Time for your reward. Jeez. This game has some of the funkiest soundtrack. I love it. Hey, just how long is this going to take? Oh, I'll be done any second. Just need to give this a once over. Should do it. <laughs> Your resume's in good hands, Sasaki-san. <clears throat> my name is Ichiban Kasuga, and finding you work is my work. Now, let's get you something good. I love it. Yeah, let's. Big celebrity ought to have big connections. I wouldn't say that. I'm really no big deal. So, what kind of work you got for me, Kasuka-san? Well, before that, Sasaki-san. It says here you work for Moroi Industries. Yeah, that's what it says on the paper. To my knowledge, Moroi Industries is a front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. Uh -oh. All their employees are Yakuza. Hey, you know your stuff. It also says here that you were let go from your position there. If I'm not mistaken, this is because the business shut down after the Hiwatashi clan disbanded last month? Is that correct? <sighs> yeah, what about it? Taking into account that you worked at Moroi Industries and the fact that you have quite an intricate tattoo, can I assume that you're an ex-Yakuza who just recently got out of the trade? You're telling me that matters? You'll need to indicate that on your resume. Listen, buddy. 
What I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. <sighs> Come on. How about you drop the silly little act already, eh, Kasuga-san? You think I haven't heard the rumors? Rumors? About what? About you finding good work for ex-Yakuza, like me. Those rumors. People from all over have been calling you a savior. Afraid I don't know what you mean. I'm just a regular guy at a regular job. I thought I told you to cut the crap. I don't have time for games here. All right, then. Let's start by rewriting your resume. Do you have any special qualifications you can list? Uh, they'll help you cast a wider net when- What'd I say? Knock that humble servant shit off. If I can ask you to please keep your voice down, loud noises might be disturbing to the other customers. <laughs> Sasaki-san, our job is to find the ideal match for both our customers and our business partners. However, with your behavior today, I doubt you'll be getting a job anytime soon. You may have left the Yakuza, but it hasn't left you. I have no jobs to offer you at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You bastard! Hmm. <sighs> oh, well, he didn't like that. You got more to say? Damn it! Some help you turned out to be. Waste of my goddamn time! Apologies for the disturbance, everyone. We should be okay now. Next customer, please come to counter four. Go. Oh, uh, thanks. Nice work today, Kasuga-san. Uh, you okay after all that? Oh, yeah. It was no sweat. Didn't mean to make a scene. Sorry about that. Oh, not at all. I just feel bad you have to put up with all that. Uh, sorry to place it on you. Oh, it's all good. Really, I'm just happy I can make myself useful. It's the least I can do. Especially after you guys bothered to take me in. Wow. You really are the hero of Yokohama. We're glad to have you around. Come on, you don't have to call me that. Why not? You exposed the crimes of both the governor and the police department. You're a man of the people. No, oh, that's really too much. Besides, that was a while ago. Well, we're proud just to share a workplace with you. You ought to be proud of yourself too, Kasuka-san. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate the kind words. Anyway, I'm heading out for the day. I'll see you later, yeah? Okay, I should get some grub before I head home. Alright. Either I go for a sit-down place, or safe and uh yeah i get a a beef bowl <laughs> hey beef bowls are delicious i don't get a good beef bowl from time to time Ooh. received oh yeah this is dlc stuff there's gonna be two more one two all right let's go It's like an area of effect bomb. I like it. Oh, another briefcase. I will take it. Pocket tissues. Ordinary tissues. I like it. Getting, getting stuff. That's a good start. Peach steak. All right. All 
Alright, you got some, got some sushi. Some apple juice. Doo -doo -doo. Kinda wanna go over here. What is that? Silver plate. Something I can help you with, Sasaki san. You saw me, huh? <laughs> Should have guessed. Oh, something's about to happen. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Huh? It's about money, right? I thought as much. You might be a savior. Saving people ain't free. Uh, uh, 50 grand ought to do it, right? <laughs> I hit it big at the boat races today. 50k a job, though. Damn good racket you've got there. Can't say I ain't jealous. You've got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Huh? Hey, hold up. What's your deal? Uh, what, you want more or something? How much I gotta give you to get a job? The five-year ex-Yakuza clause. That's what's left you high and dry, right? Five years of red-taped hell follow a Yakuza on his way out. You can't open a bank account. We even rent some rat hole apartment. A cell phone plan's basically a no-go. You can forget about health insurance. Of course, it's made that much worse by the fact that no one wants to hire someone like that. Yeah, you clearly get it. So help a guy. All the people who were thrown out into the world after the Omi and Tojo dissolved are working their asses off just to get by. You think you can just slip a guy some cash and that's that? Get real, pal. Things don't work that way. Look, I didn't follow you out here for a lecture. Just take the stupid money, will you? Huh? Hey, cut it out! My money! Oh, what the hell, man? You have rest now. Just take your money and go. Yeah! Quit acting all high and mighty. When it comes down to it, you're just like me. Oh, it is the go time. Is the battle is on. All right. Guess there's no choice. Let's cool you out of it, huh? All right. So get the enemy when they're down can still cause more damage. Sorry about that. Like it. We're kind of wide open. Oh well. Hey, a special skill. How about that? Break yourself. Open one. All right. Let's see if we can. Do the uh, well, I was able to get one, and then we have items that we can get into. Oh, okay, we'll have one of those. Let's rock. Cool. And he's done. Win to be proud. Four levels up. Nice. On to the next level. Washing out this stink. Oh, shoot, where's that other bill at? Aha! Gotcha! What the hell's he doing? <laughs> Yo, take a look! Your money's safe and sound! <laughs> oh, but at what cost? Oh, I think this suit might be a goner. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a burner. Here. Probably don't want to lose this, right? Hey. Were the rumors even true? A bunch of dudes told me you could hook me up, that you'd give me a job for 50 grand. Well, it's partly true. I am helping those who left the Yakuza find work. 
And as for that 50 grand, I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait, then that means... But it wasn't for the job. I got a phone plan set up for him. He was just paying me back. Uh, phone plan? I got him a job at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. They were looking for someone to help deal with resellers. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic. Back when people were hoarding those, it left a lot of others hurting. Whenever crooks like that try to cash in online, it's his job to put in fake bids and shut it all down. There are really jobs like that out there? It's kind of a gray area thing. Still, resellers are a huge thorn in those company sides. That's where the fake bids come in. Sort of tricky if you don't have a phone handy, you know? And as you're aware, ex-Yakuza aren't allowed to sign up. So you signed up for him? Yeah. Just to hold him over until he can find a better job. Ah. <sighs> Everyone's gritting their teeth to get through this thing. I got no work to give to someone who waltzes up all cocky and shoves cash in my face. <sighs> it's tough, jumping back on the straight and narrow. I know. I went through all that life has to offer, just like you. I know how hard that shit is. But, if you're prepared to try, to put your head down and crawl your way back up, if you really, truly want that, then I'm right there with you. What do you say? You know, when you were down there gathering up all my money just now, I was sure you were going to steal it. But you didn't. I, uh, uh, well, for the first time in my life, I actually felt pretty, uh, pretty ashamed. It made me realize that I've half-assed just about everything I am. Please, please help me. I, I want to start over. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay, it's a deal. But do me a favor and stand up, all right? You're gonna be the one to do it, Sasaki-san. You're gonna put in the work. All I can do is give you a little push. Still, I'll do the best I can. Oh, thank you! Right then. Come on back to Hello Work tomorrow. All right, this here's your stipend. As to how you use it, well... It all depends on you. Right! Is that a $50,000 okay. stipend? Time to eat. Sounds good. Uber Eats. Nice. Montage. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe to get more videos like these. having a ball I want to have his night that is he's just going around just hanging out with people Tiring to our shack, no worries. I like how we have a bunk bed. Start to a new day. 
Okay. Another day, another chance to make a difference. He's not wrong. Chapter 1. Doing the best I can. Gotta sing a little bit. Nice. Looking sharp. We are looking sharp. We're looking smooth. Banana. Oh. We're going to head to work. We will reminisce another time. Alright, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh yeah, that's right. We just go over here, recover real quick. Boom. Fully healed. Let's go. Got the item box over here. I don't quite know. I haven't used it yet. I haven't really used it. Um, we'll, I guess we'll be using it at some point, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, where are we going? Hey. Let's say hi. Hi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. All right, let's go. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Um, health ring. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Equipped. Hoodie. Sure. Why not? Equip. Or boots. Why not? Equip. And. Yeah, well, thank you as well for having amazing merchandise. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, that's not the right way. Just kind of going for like a little jog, a little jaunt. Not too fast. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on now. Everything's got to be got. more stuff. Uh-oh. What's that? Alright. Lady. Oh, it looks like she just came from a party. What happened to you? Oh, Ichiban. You're a sight for sore eyes. I almost didn't recognize you there. Cleaned up quite nice since I last saw you. <laughs> well, not much has changed on the inside. Anyway, you fall or something? Yeah, sure did. Was just capping off an all-night bender and, well, my legs gave out. Do yourself a favor and don't get old. Uh, let's tell her to ease up on the drinks. Yeah. Maybe take it easy on the binges. Health before pleasure, you know? Besides, if anything happened to you, this whole town would be drowning in tears. <laughs> Since when did you become such a charmer? Uh, hard to believe this is the same bum who washed up broke at my place. Come on, that was ages ago. More important, can you stand? Yeah, this is nothing. Don't treat me like I'm some invalid. Now go, run along to your job. After all, work isn't something you can take for granted. You know that, right? Yeah. Just don't hit the bottle too hard, okay? Yeah, thanks. I'll be careful. All right. So, our... 
personality traits can be upgraded. Cool. Earn him perks to increase resistance on enemy skills and status alignments. Okay, very cool. I like it. Is that a pickle? Does she have a pickle on her shirt? Oh, where'd she go? She vanished. Right then. Good luck with your interview. Next in line, please. Um, my name's Shinya Sasaki. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Take a seat. Did you happen to bring a resume? Yes, sir, I did. Sasaki-san. May I inquire about your criminal record? Mm -hmm. uh, it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on so long as it was small enough. Uh, I had a buddy who fenced stuff on the black market, so I usually sell it to him. I see. Does that uh, make things too difficult? Sasaki-san, may I ask you something? Sure. I don't see any record of punishment on here. In that case, why put your criminal history at all? Because I did those things, sir. If I'd hid my record to get a job, I'd only make trouble for the company if it ever got out. I really want to start fresh. I can't go around acting like that never happened. That's a great way to think about it. On that note, don't worry. I have just the job for a man like you. Really? What kind of job? Well, simply put... Shoplifting! Nice. Not too inconspicuous, I guess. Looking around. Looking around. Hands on the... Oh! Alright. Clever. The old fake arm routine, huh? Excuse me, would you be a deer and point me to the mouthwash? Uh, oh, sure. It should be right this way. Ooh. Nice. This may be a little bit trickier. But do you think I could see this up close? Sure. One moment. Good eye. This Yoink. one's a top seller. Isn't it just perfect, honey? It's nice, but it's almost time for the movie. We should take a rain check. Oh no, it's that late. We'll swing by after. No trouble. I hope to see you again soon. That's right. Vanished. We're all done on our end. How'd it go? Got everything you asked for. Plus a couple other big ticket items for good measure. Hot 
Damn. Glad I went to the pros for this one. <laughs> All right, so we got like an office building. What is this? Okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms. Ah, we're getting else? the load. Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots. What with how they were set up. Of course, it's been ages since somebody had to rely on me. A fake arm routine. Mm -hmm. Oh you yeah. Pulling something like that, and uh, there's not much you can say. That's why it's common for thieves to uh, work in teams nowadays. Usually, that means two roles, a lookout or a decoy, and then the thief. A little division of labor can go a long way. A uh, smaller cut in exchange for safety, huh? Well, it certainly beats jail time. Good work today. Ah, <laughs> there she home. is. Hey, you as well. Hope I can count on you again. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh no, this was my first time helping someone steal something, so I was really nervous. Anyway, I'll see you two later. See ya. So, that's why you were saying you needed a hand. Yeah, the job's much easier for two than it is for one. She made for a pretty great actress, too. I guess listing the job as extra worked out. Better than we could have hoped. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with your performance. You really know your stuff. Although, that last shop you hit up, from the look of it, they put a lot of money into their security system. I mean, the shop itself was fairly small, with cameras in every corner. Not only that, there wasn't much in the way of cover, meaning little to no blind spots. So how'd you swipe a high-end wallet out from under them? Well, sometimes those stores have fake cameras, but I could tell these were the real deal. We were also the only customers, so the shopkeep always had an eye on us. <sighs> that said, there was a camera above the register, and it was pointed more downwards than the others, meaning it wasn't getting a full view of the floor. Maybe they wanted it to focus more on the register, or it was just a mistake during installation. But either way, that right there was our blind spot. No kidding. Well, once I saw that, all I had to do was play the waiting game. Of course, the shopkeep realized what went down the moment we left, but the cameras got nothing on tape. The deed had already been done. You really figured out all that on your first trip and made off with some goods to boot? <laughs> I think I like this guy. I'm just amazed there's a job like this out there, especially considering my past and all. You know, they say 1.2 billion yen worth of merchandise gets stolen every year. Now, for most retailers, it's a life or death issue that could sink your business just like that. And despite that, a lot of business owners think all they need is a security guard or a few cameras. And that's just not true. All that really does is add a few blind spots you didn't have before. In fact, it could actually make it easier to steal things. Right. That is where we come in. It's our job to sniff out the gaps. As you might have figured, if you'd failed today, that would mean their security systems were all squared away. But, as we can clearly see... Yep. And from here, I'll summarize their security flaws in a report and submit it to their managers. Now, that should do it for work they hired us for, but for my money, there's a real business opportunity here. Uh, meaning? Meaning now, I can offer them consulting, get a contract going, and I can advise them on where to place cameras or even introduce them to reputable security companies. Huh. Makes sense. Actually, once I uh, get this business off the ground, I'm thinking of starting up my own security company. Uh, the goal is to have a firm that can handle everything from investigation to consultation to basic security. Wow. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Kasuga. Well, Adachi-san, how's Sasaki working out? Well, if you ask me, he's a real pro. Already can't afford to lose him. Can I take that to mean he's hired? 
Yep. Glad to have him. Ah, thank you. I know I have a lot to learn, but I promise, I'll work real hard. Hey, hey, hey. Look, your days of bowing like that are over, pal. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Haha! <laughs> we'll make a working class civvy out of you yet. Uh, what's the book? Oh! I found this over at a nearby bookstore. Security industry certification? Right now, all you can do is steal and investigate. But that won't be enough. I was thinking you could study and get yourself certified. That way, you'll be ready to help out when Adachi-san expands his business. Sure, that'd be a big help. Give it a read when you get some time. Uh, Kasuga-san, tell me, what's your goal in all this? Huh? I mean, at this point, it's just weird. You must want something, right? Who goes that far for a stranger? You don't have some ulterior motive. Motive? Well, I, I guess you could say that. This is actually my way of repaying a debt. A debt? Everything I've done is what my patriarch in the Arakawa family was trying to do. It's the job he left behind when he passed on. He wanted to build a safe place for all the ex-Yakuza. Those with nowhere to turn. Carrying out his will is everything to me. More than that, it's my reason to live. Still, I can really only handle a tiny piece of it. <sighs> all in all, I'm just doing whatever I can. For real? <laughs> Man, you are one of a kind. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Do right by Adachi-san here, okay? So soon? Come on, you just got here. Ah, I've still got work to wrap up. All right then. Good luck with everything. Thanks. He's still on the clock? I never knew Hello Work was so busy. Nah, Hello Work's done for the day. This, something a little different. Huh? There are a whole bunch of former Yakuza and Ijincho that Kasuga's helped out, same as you. Once he's done at the office, he typically heads out to check in and see how they're doing. The two biggest Yakuza organizations in Japan, the Omi Alliance and Tojo Clan, were completely dissolved. And that day, no fewer than 30,000 Yakuza were spit back into the real world. A lot of them likely couldn't find work and weren't left with a whole lot of options. Kasuga, he's dead set on rehabilitating every last one of them. Every single one? Is that even possible? Well, not normally, no. But seeing him <laughs> give his all, well, it makes me feel like even the impossible is possible. It's hard not to help out a guy like that. Yeah, honestly? I think I feel the same. Oh, we have pawn shops. Nice. All right, let's go, uh, guess we gotta go meet him. It is go time. <laughs> to the moon and back. <laughs> Let's do it. 
Anything useful around here? Okay. Get wrecked. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he knocked me down. He's done. Okay. Done. Lettuce sandwich? Alright. Feel bad taking their lunch. That's right. We won't be so nice hey. next time. It's weird that this part isn't voiced. Let's go. Oh yeah, now we have the indication for the enemy types. And now they'll get triggered to fight us. Cool. So we got two right there. Let's go fight these guys real quick. Nice little traffic. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, what's cracking? Dunzo. Oh, he's got a knife. Done. I need to get our level up a little bit. Did we get anything good? We got some money. 510. Let's go. How was that? There we go. Oh. Man, this is a, uh, is there anything in these, these hallways? No. All right. Uh, any more baddies? Yeah, there's two right here. What's up, guys? Let's get those levels. Let's go. Hit him so hard, his friend got hit. Nice. Job rank up. Come on, let's go. Hey! Looks like there's a guy right here. Let's go. I got a little bit of money. Another level. Oh, that Ferris wheel up there, that's pretty cool. The graphics in this game are amazing. Let's do it. Street box. Yeah. Was that a bottle of something silly? Here we go. Break yourself!
I guess we could have taken the taxi. But that's no fun. Alright, let's get in here. Let's go. Come here straight from work? Yeah. Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender, another round. On me. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nono Mia worked for go to waste. Mm. Someday, it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit any time, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. And if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> she ain't lying. Beer's here. <laughs> oh, 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 right on time, boss man. <laughs> 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 just Tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> Just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right. Then what's there? We have another toast. Cheers! <laughs> uh. So, Xiao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah. Same with Junki Han. Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Ah, oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? It really is a shame, though. Yeah. Either way, Kasuga's right. We were living in two different worlds that just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say, no news is good news. Yeah, that is true. So, how's everyone been holding up? Still keeping at it with Arakawa-san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi-san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me? Rinky-dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really. I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, scheming. Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? No answer. Sure. Well, how are things going with Sachan, huh? Huh? You two, uh, gone on a date yet? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Ah, uh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> What a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kasuga, you got a thing for Sachan, right? I... Uh, well... Uh, um... Like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? <laughs> well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. Yeah, but... Hey, you can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Oh, I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like, you want to hang out together? Just the two of us? 
That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Itachi son. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> <laughs> What now, Adachi-san? Got some new scheme in the works? <laughs> I might. Oh yeah, Sachan. The other day... Whew. Yep, I'm drunk. <laughs> you alright, Namba? Or zigzagging. All right, easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. No, I'm no, fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right, we'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? Sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true. Fire away. A dodgy son. Come on, Namba. Let's roll. Hey, hey, slow down. <laughs> That's great. You think I'll be all right? <laughs> oh well. Guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. Uh. Uh, Sachan! Hmm? Um, nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, forget I said anything. <sighs> okay. Well, good night. Sachan! Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen. Do you maybe, uh... Want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get together? <sighs> we decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, uh, not like that. I mean, just us. You know, like together. Uh... That's awesome. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, you gotta feel bad for the guy. I blew it. Oh, I blew it. Best ringtone ever. What now? Oh shit! Uh, 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 hello? Sorry, I, I sort of panicked. I didn't I expect that. No, uh, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh, uh huh? We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. Ooh. Anyway, see ya. Nice. This is huge, fellas! 
Oh no, he's making a scene. Back at the shack. No shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. So why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachon. Oh, are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But uh, what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? What if she never wants to see me again? Don't forget it, I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right, now, take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure. Who's got more experience than us? Look, this is your big chance, after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys, teach me your ways! Okay, let's get started, then. What is first when it comes to date prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people get to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. <laughs> uh, I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, uh, um, a woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but how do I do that while acting natural, like Namba said? Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. Oh, hell no. The only thing a dodgy sounds more experienced in is paying for it. Whoa. You little... Exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? That's messed up. Uh, it's this room. It's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you listen to, well... You can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay, I, uh, I appreciate it. This is gonna be interesting. So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait, like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's gonna take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit, he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, wait, what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, <laughs> too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh, crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. 
those. Uh, the what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh, my cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow! Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a precious puppy when he's choosing. She'll want to protect you. Are you sure about this man? No. Nope. What do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Huge mistake. What did we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least, then you stand, silent, like a statue. Don't look around, just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban, she'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah, maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever, Ichi can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. Let's go with sit and act natural. Going with you, Namba. I figure sitting down while I wait will help me conserve strength for later. <laughs> right on the money. You always keep as much in the tank as you can. Oh, hold on a second, Kasuga. How do you feel getting to the meeting spot, right? And there's Sachan, conked out, snoring. Oh, uh, I guess I think she was exhausted from working all day. Oh. Yep, she finds you asleep while you were waiting for her. You're no puppy dog. You just look like every other sad sack salary man. She'll spend the whole day wondering if you're really awake or out on your feet. Damn it, you're right! <laughs> that, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war! Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this state, but... <laughs> right? I, I admit, I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. <laughs> ah, there we go! So, how about lesson number two? Lesson number two. Art of Love, lesson two. Location, location, location. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, a date should be special. That's what you said. So, like, a nice Italian or French restaurant? Oh, jeez. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, you need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Like, uh... Ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, spice level 100. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. Now you tell me. What'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? I'm not that into spicy food, man. <laughs> Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her. Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow. It's the struggle that's sexy. How oh, she'll be putty in your hands. Uh, really? Wrong kind of putty. Idiot. What happens when the curry wins? The curry? Quivering, snotty mess. Ooh, that's true. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. 
And don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Well, maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. It's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice level 100. Are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up. Wallow in indecision, grow old and alone. Make a choice. Wow. Uh, seriously? Uh, fine. I've got to choose. Then. Um, we're gonna do beef bowl because the spice one hundred seems then bad. It's the beef bowls. Yes. What? Beef bowls on a date? You lose your mind? I know it's not perfect, but I keep thinking of Sajan sitting in silence while I tackle that curry. But she's, you, you know, watching you with pride. She's in awe of your, your bravery. <laughs> uh, does that nope. sound like Sachan to you? No. Am I taking her out just to perform for her? Of course you are. It's about impressing her. Maybe, but isn't the whole point of a date to talk with each other? I'd rather do that over dinner than win some food challenge. Well, uh, <laughs> you got it. The lesson behind the lesson. <laughs> the lesson <laughs> behind the lesson. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, and uh, that means beef bowls are out of the question too, right? They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. I guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah. Now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Oh, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but you guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, and it's time for the final lesson. Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. Ooh. Oh, okay, I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Uh, far from it, I'm afraid to say. Highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. It's cool. This is a date outfit? It doesn't look that stylish. Nothing's more stylish than au naturel. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, they're pure cotton and hemp. Not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. I get it. It's another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. <laughs> Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You're trying to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Holy shit! You don't think this is a little too flashy? Kasuga, why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. 
dazzling your beloved, captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa. Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. I've got to choose again. You both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. Namba, it's yours. You've been telling me all along to keep it natural. This outfit is the ultimate way to embody that. <laughs> all right. I've said my piece. Go get her. Make this the best date ever. Damn right. We've done everything we can. You've got this, Ichiban. You two, watch. I'll make you proud. It's either going to go really well or really bad. At pawn shops, nice. You can buy and sell too. That's very cool. Um, I don't think I have a pawn shop near me though. There's two over here. Do I have to go that way? Where am I going? Oops, knocking over bikes. All right, let's go up here. Lots of things. Gotta get all the items. I like it, excuse me, sorry. What's up? Oh, that's a wall. Son, get smacked. All right. So where am I trying to go? Oh, there's something right here, though. Worn out microwave. What? Cool. 
Now his friend's gonna come back. Get slapped. Oh, I didn't get any money. Well, yeah, I did. I get money out of that. And we leveled up. Nice. Get a rest. Yep. Looking good. Not at all. Actually, uh, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. Oh, wow. I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean... The guys helped me pick this out. <laughs> is... is it weird? <laughs> no. I think you look nice. <laughs> so, where are we off to? Oh, uh, first things first. So we got a looks nice. So that's sorry. good. Please come again soon. Oh, they're full too. Well, it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry. Those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? I guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. Uh, Sachan, is there anywhere you want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Oh, then, hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's, uh, not a place to eat. Huh? What is it, then? What, do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. Uh-oh. Huh? Hmm? Wait, what? We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. But, but it's still light out and stuff. Since when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now. You know, Sachan. Hmm. Do you, uh, you know, do this kind of thing often? Well, I guess. <laughs> I'm usually always in the mood. And how would you feel if someone you love was doing the same thing? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not something to be proud of. Right, so the hotel's probably a little fast, huh? What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? Huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 oh right. Uh, yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. Sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. <laughs> Are you okay, Ichiban? It was a little awkward. New York hot dogs. Um. You know, I wonder what Namba looks like without his glasses. What? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, 
It's just, I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. What if he's <laughs> actually super hot or something? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out, too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, plan on it, then. Say, wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common, is all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remember. They were telling me about a place near Jinnai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. So this is her location, so that's pretty cool. Whoa, look at this counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual. Seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. <laughs> here, let's order something. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's look at the menu. All right, I think I'm gonna try this. I'll have the Shunkoku Gyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsuge Uo. Oh, really? I, I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh, geez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. We're gonna cover for her. There's no need to be embarrassed, Sachan. Looking at it myself, I doubt many people can read everything on the menu. For one thing, a little pronunciation guide wouldn't hurt. Oh, no, you don't have to say that. It's our first time here, after all. I couldn't help but hear, sir. You find our menu unsatisfactory? Uh, no, we're sorry. Everything's just great. Well, actually, he has a point. Huh? A lot of first-time customers tend to get discouraged by our menu. We've had trouble keeping regulars as of late. Upon trying to determine the cause, I thought perhaps our emphasis on formality set the bar a little too high. Sure, formal's great and all, but when it starts intimidating you, it kind of loses its luster a bit. You're absolutely right! To that end, we'll be adding pronunciations to the menu as soon as possible. Thank you for being so open and honest. Wow, they're updating the menu thanks to you, Ichiban. You didn't let the fancy atmosphere stop you or anything. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. I mean, look at this. They put these two kanji together, but who's ever going to be able to read that? Well, actually, that's just shrimp. What? Uh oh. Shrimp? Even I could read that. <laughs> now you're embarrassing me. Now, now. Allow us to offer some onmitsu for dessert on us as a token of our appreciation. Really? Ooh. I love onmitsu. Thank you so much.
Oof. Who knew Capo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. You think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? <sighs> I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. Ichiban, play along, okay? Huh? It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but... This is so sudden. Yeah. Huh? Saiko-san! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? What? Isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed-up caveman? Hey there! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm dating Saiko-san. Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now that I have a boyfriend? Of course not! Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. So, you're Saako-san's boyfriend? Okay then. And what do you do for work? Well, you might say I listen to other people's problems and point them in the right direction. <laughs> huh. So you're a consultant? Yeah. All right then. What kind of firms do you typically work with? Yeah, the work I do is more about the individuals, actually. A financial planner, huh? Promising industry, good for the future. Okay, if you're so set, why make Saiko-san work at a cabaret club? If it were me, I'd have her get some kind of certification and get her out of the business. What's wrong with working in a cabaret club? Simple. There's no future in it. Not to mention her reputation. That's horseshit. There's nothing wrong with taking your job seriously. Passion opens all kinds of doors. A hell of a lot more than some certification. There's a good future with any job. As long as you're doing your best. If you can't support her, you never had a chance. Hmm. Ichiban. <laughs> support her? What's that gonna do? You really have to ask that? Ugh, you must be stupid. There's nothing like having someone who supports your dreams. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. Serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? You didn't hear me the first time? But... No, 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 no! How can I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson! What? <laughs> you wanna crush my heart? Right. Fine! I'll crush you! He's just crazy. He's like, I can't have her. I'm going to beat you up. Okay. All right. Block. Okay. So we can knock back chain. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool.
And we're gonna do on him. I like the auto attacking. That is so cool. And we got handmade beat button. Nice. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, that wasn't what nice. The hell, man? That's right. Some trash for the trash. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you just got your butt kicked. Man, what an asshole. Wow, at the very least. It looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Still, that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just clothes. But, uh, I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay, I'll be right here. Great, be right back. Hey, hey montage. Let's go. Looks like they have an awesome date night. Yep. If you guys like the series so far, be sure to hit that like and subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you again. Let's get those likes up to a hundred. Can we can we do that for this series? Hey, sorry. Couldn't find a vending machine. No worries. You know, I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. <sighs> you okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. It Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying, too. For real, Captain Sawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy. So, uh, let me ask you. Will you... Will you marry me? Whoa. Ichiban. Ah. It's a little fast, man. He needs to pump those brakes. I swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen. I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, 
cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I tell him, look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, cause I'm doing just fine down here. That was a lot. Uh, uh, Thanks again, Ichiban. Mm hmm Today really was fun. Wait! Uh-huh. Hey, hang on a sec. Satchan, did did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um but I uh What's your answer? Yeah, bye. <laughs> That's pretty much. Yeah. Let's go home. Wow. First date proposal. What is that? Good grief. What kind of moron proposes on the first date? Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sachan would be mad about it. But, well, no, she wasn't mad, I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot. That means she's mad. Possibly fuming. Dare I even say seething? Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey! Quit screwing around and help me out. For real. I got no idea what's what anymore. Ah, so the date itself. That all went fine, right? Yeah. I mean, I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least I think she did. You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. <laughs> so much for the hero of Yokohama. Look, hang on, this is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, you must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? What, now? It's kind of embarrassing. Look, dumbass, if we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out. Uh, um, uh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor, uh, and how I used to be in the Yakuza. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah, that was a good chunk of it. Hmm. So far, so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So? Then what? Uh, then? Uh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. <laughs> what? <sighs> that was it. Listen, Ichiban, Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh! Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh. Sounds like we got our culprit, but just to be safe, what else did you say? Uh... After that, I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive uh, for a woman to do what she does. Wait, what? You really said, for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like, for a woman, or even though you're a woman, 
That kind of talk can come off as pretty sexist, even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Oh, boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh, me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, well, I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, shit. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked, but there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could... All visit the boss's grave together? Uh, is that finally it? <laughs> you didn't add any more fuel to the fire. Uh, no. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. And, depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory, too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. Hey, come on! You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Except for the oh, adjectives. Sucks. Seriously, what the hell do I do now? Well, might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just gotta make things right. Hey. Goodbye. All right, so now we got to go correct the horrible wording that we did on the first date. What's going on with us? Alright, let's swing by the bar. Oops. Sorry. My bad. While wow, we're at it, how you doing? Oh, we got two right here. If we can get it in time, it looks like we can knock him back in. Yeah, we can. Is the other one down too? That's right. On to the next level. Oops. Can I, uh, let's get in. I guess that would be the closest. She should be right down this alley. Not down this alley, but this this direction. Well, actually, she is down this alley. Oh, Sajan! Hey, Ichiban. What a coincidence. Oh, no. I was looking for you. 
I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Oh? Apologize for what? I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So yeah, I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like that was a given too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him in ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Really. I'm so sorry, Satchan! That's it? You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> that was a lot. You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I... I mean, sure, maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then, why did you... Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. In that sense, I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Oh. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. Such a... Womp, womp, womp. That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. That's a good way of saying it. One year later, 2023. Damn it! Right. Come on. Time to make some moves. Hey, good morning. Oh, Kasuga kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? <laughs> sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh! Is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? No. Oh, okay, sure. That's never good. Huh? My contract's been terminated? I know. Uh, crazy timing. Uh, remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, uh, w was there a problem with my quality of work? No, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But apparently the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Right. I see.
Understood. Well, uh, let me just say, uh, thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth, I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. You want me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up, do I? Oh, well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> they hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez, I, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until... I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. Well, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, thank you. Well, that sucks. We lost our job. Yeah, I guess we're gonna say bye to everybody. I'm not saying bye to Barbara. She keeps taking my cookies out of the fridge. Excuse me. So. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. And then the last person. Oh, she is Excuse super me. sad. Thank you. Aw, everybody with the well wishes. Okay, that takes care of that. I guess we're no longer employed with that... that company. There we go, through the doors. And bow. Get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay. So, oh, I learned the treasure hunt ability. So we can, okay. We can hunt for stuff in vending machines and other nearby resources. So, boop. Mm -hmm. what do we get? Uh, 10 yen, okay. Mm -hmm. We get 100 yen, not bad, not bad. Let's get out of here. Uh, where are we trying to go? That way? Oh! Hmm? Ooh, we got a paper plate. Just stick it in the ground. Magic plate. Hmm? Hey! 
That's him, right? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, Kasuga-san. Huh? Who the hell are you? We just want to do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship them off to do shady jobs all over town. So, what say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? <laughs> All right, simmer down. <laughs> now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down he's just another Yakuza! Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less! Oh. Honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. Oh, someone is gonna get their butt kicked. I <laughs> oh, wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Well, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give in to this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? Oh, <laughs> a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? That's a <laughs> boomer joke. Oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. Oh, seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey, show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. <laughs> This man here is Ichiban Kasuga, a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding! Ichiban Kazuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex-Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kazuga, the ex-Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for... A mini-mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Hey, hold up! That ain't right. Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods. This is the secret. No, the true face of the hero of Yokohama! Hey, what the hell? Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass, I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude. They got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, I see now. 
It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to! Anyway, look, we got you on video, so you gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! <laughs> uh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? All right, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. Yo, who's this guy? So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, <laughs> try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? <laughs> who's this dude? I met him online. I have him lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura channel? Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Oh, hey, Asachi, here's an idea. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake, eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest, huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping straight to the front page with this one! <laughs> All right, let's get footage, then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan. And I'm afraid he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little interview as well. <gasps> How does it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. Knock it off! <laughs> he's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now. You're not gonna get in the way of that. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Nice. That's one. Two. Damn it. Nice, 2100 in cash. Uh, toughness light, that's a beverage I guess Stronger. we can drink during the fight. Level five and rank three, let's go. Oh, shit. Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, yeah? The next time, we do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. <sighs> ah. 
That guy means business. As always, Tatara Channel is on the case. Ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world. Tatara Channel. Uh, Adachi-san! Hey! I was just about to call you. You'll never guess. I'm sorry, Kasuga. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah. Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too. Oh, they're finding all of the old Yakuza. What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? They gave me the same speech as you, Kasuga. I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. And I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret and I'm barely hanging in there as it is if my financing gets cut off I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel damn when all three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank yeah not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kasuga it can't be a coincidence right now as to what caused all this Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's kind of like a tabloid? That's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the trash. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure, you can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying, rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. And now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. 
You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault, you dumbass? The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys! Thank you! Look, just know... I won't be able to help you get ex-Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Oh, back on the top. Looking slick. All right, we're healed up. Oh. Ah, don't talk to me. No. Wait, we actually have to go to work? Oh, yeah, we do. Whoop. Jumping is so smooth. Um, excuse me. Are you Kasuga-san? You know, Ichiban Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama? <sighs> That's me. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you got work, that maybe you might have a job for me? Uh, yeah, about that. As you can see, I too used to be in the Yakuza. I've got a wife and two kids. The older one starts elementary school next year. They've gone through hell because of me, but I at least want to provide a good life for my family. The, uh, word on the street is that even a guy like me could find some honest work and turn things around. Please, is there anything available? I'm sorry. Hmm? You see, I actually just lost my job. As such, I can't do a whole lot for you. Huh? I'm just here to break the news, tell everyone what happened. Just know I'm really sorry. You're serious? Man, no matter where I go, it's the same thing. I was planning to end it all, but that changed when I heard about you. I'm really at the end of my rope. <sighs> now... now you're out too? You're in the same boat as me? Is this some kind of sick joke? God damn it, you gave me hope, you know that? You can't just toy around with people's emotions like this, come on! I'm sorry. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Damn it! Excuse me. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hey, good to see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cause a scene. Uh, that that's okay. Do you, um, think I can ask you a favor? 
Provided it's not too much trouble, could you put up a sign saying I'm not here anymore? You see, there's a good chance more people will show up looking for me. Y you mean more Yakuza? Former Yakuza, yes. Would you do that for me? Otherwise, I'm worried they'll just cause trouble for you. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. I, I certainly don't want those guys waltzing in here and harassing people. I really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, uh, don't think that hanging around will make us change our decision. Uh, also, were you fighting out here? I won't have anything like that on the premises. Not one bit. I'm sorry. I'll leave right away. Aww. He got beat up twice that time. Guess I'll go see Sasaki. He should know what's been going on. Alright, Sasaki is this way. Sun. Sorry to bother you all of a sudden. There's something I... I heard from Adachi-san. I'm getting let go at the end of the month. I'm sorry. It's my fault for not having my act together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Actually, this whole thing's helped me come to terms with it. I put all that effort into having a change of heart to rebuild my life. And then something like this happens. I'm starting to think that someone up there must really hate me. Sasaki. <laughs> it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I'd say you look a hell of a lot worse than me, huh? Um. Thanks for uh, letting me dream for a bit. Anyway, I probably ought to start packing this place up. One month later. Alright. Smoking cigarettes sitting on the couch. Great. What do I do now? Kasuga, you there? It's Adachi. I'm here too. Adachi son? Namba? Sorry to barge in. You got a minute? Yeah. Time's about all I got these days. Sorry, I hope you guys are fine with just water. Well, water's never a bad thing. Much obliged. So, what's up? It's just that something's been on my mind. Have you, by any chance, gone past Hello Work recently? Yeah, uh, nearby, at least. I thought maybe there might still be some guys looking for me. Oh, any luck? Anybody end up swinging by? Got a couple guys the first few days, but no more than that. Guess word's gotten around that they can't count on me anymore. I see. Well, it turns out there might be more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, lately our old friend the Seiryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. The Seiryu clan? I think back a bit. You remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Yeah, that made sense, given how the clan's set up. 
And did you know that Takabe went to prison? No. <laughs> That's news to me. Right. So here's where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by both the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. But we're not just talking 10 or 20 guys here. Huh? You mean... I mean, the Seiryu clan's been boosting their numbers in a big way. And neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. However, with Chairman Hoshino dead and Takabe in the slammer... Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something while their boss is out of commission. So all those guys who are trying to go straight, they're going back in under the Seiryu clan? Nah, that's not all. Frankly, it gets even worse. Huh? Apparently, Sasaki's one of them. He's joined the Seiryu clan too. Sasaki? Losing his job really took its toll, I guess. We can't rule out the possibility that he gave up. Living as a civilian might have been too tough. Ugh. So he went and joined the Seiryu clan? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. <laughs> well, I figured you would, and I'm glad. <sighs> You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. <laughs> but guys... Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dachi-san. Namba. You're stuck with us. <laughs> and just like that, the party's back together. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? Like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah! It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, <sighs> what the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! <laughs> that thing deserves better! Sure does. Disrespect uh, in the back! Speech. Ugh. Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right, let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Uh-oh. I love it how it's a bunch of middle-aged men. Going to kick you some ass. Right. Bringing the old suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> All right, it's hero time. Nanba, Adachi-san, we made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before. Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah. Right behind you. Yeah! Awesome.
<laughs> Job has changed from a freelancer to hero. Yay! I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, me and the dodgy son couldn't get it to budge. Remember how you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? Oh, yeah. You were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out. He's doing it. Get her done, hero. He's Always here it. to save the day. <laughs> hey! You old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Yeah, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! Let's do some smacking. How can you do that? You're going down. Huh? Whoa! Did these guys just transform? Huh? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How? Once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle. Oh, oh yeah. Well, this is awesome. Fighting, you do you. Don't get delusional on us. Don't Wait, get so delusional. am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. Cool. I love it. Let him auto battle. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that looked good. That looked good. I like that. Slippity slap! I hit you with a bat. Oh. Nice. Have fun with this. Oh yeah, he's done done. Nice. Alright. It's the crew. So now we got the full crew ready to go. Our first true <laughs> battle as a hero. What's that? Enemies throughout the city will change their appearance according to Kasuga's wild imagination. Yo. Great. Uh, actually, before we do that, hmm, might be so. Uh, okay, so let's go buy some stuff. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Love magic. Sure. Let's go buy some stuff. By equipment, boosting your stats, all your parties. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So there's two kinds of equipment. There's stores and then... Okay. Cool. Do I have any? Yeah, I mean... So I can give you... Yeah, and let's... Equip you with that. You bamboo broom. We can buy that. And then we'll give you that. Gore boots. Both of these guys need these, right? Alright. So. Let's do this. We got a masses <laughs> massage machine. Yeah, okay. Um and, okay. So that I think is where I am going to 
end uh, the, the video here. Um, so until next time, guys, take it easy.